Now I also want to talk a little bit about wiring the Scion XB. Uh, for instance, I put in some uh, lights here in the grill. Um, but one of the big things is finding a nice way that's clean and not too invasive to get through uh, the firewall from the engine compartment to the cabin. And um, I'm going to show you right now where I went. Uh, if you look right here, again, let's get your point of reference. We're coming over the, the engine block here, uh, coming over the valve covers. And if you look in there, uh, you see that red wire, there was a rubber grommet. I was able to punch a very small hole in to get a, uh, a lead into so that I could get access to the battery uh, from the cabin. So you can see right there where that red wire is, that is how I got through the firewall. Uh, we'll go to the other side. So again, uh, this is, uh, you can see here where the wire comes in. Let's see if I can focus it all. You can see here where the wire comes in through the firewall. This is the other side of that grommet. And again, if you just need 12 volts for whatever, uh, you can get it through that way. That's how I did it. Again, this is a 2010 model Scion XP. Uh, it's uh, it's not visible uh, from driver passenger side, uh, although I probably could have done a better job of tucking it up there. Uh, so I brought it over here to a panel. Well, I say a panel, a uh, a barrier strip, so that I can uh, get some other 12 volt leads in. Now, <clears throat> get now beyond getting through the firewall on the Sion XP, uh, this thing is primed and set up to be wired and uh, modded. So you'll find that a lot of the um, ways to get wire from the front to the back are uh, very accessible and very easy and in fact don't even require any additional tools. Uh, for instance, uh, you saw the wire brought up from under here, red wire would come under, uh, you could route up into the dash. Now accessing the dash, very easy. On this one, it doesn't require any tools. Uh, so as you see, as you can get your fingers underneath this top part, be gentle, you don't want to break any clips. I'm sure I don't want to spend much uh, any money replacing this. I'm sure it's expensive. But just be careful. The clips are designed to give. Just rock it out slowly and you can get access to this top console. And really I found this was all I needed to access to do anything that I needed to do with the wiring. I was able to run wire back through under and to the glove box. I was able to run wire down, or sorry, run wire up from the bottom. Um, so, you know, this was relatively easy to get at to do. So I'm going to leave that out and show you another access point. All right here uh, to get wire from the front to the back easy enough you can just pull up this panel again you just rock it slow be careful with the clips you don't want to break anything but you rock it and the whole thing just pops off just like that. So you can see you can access and run your wires all the way along the base of the, uh, the side on there to get to the back. Probably won't be able to see this last one unless I take you in. <clears throat> but this is a uh, also this side panel. Uh, this rocks off the same way, pops off. I'm not going to pop it off because I've been having trouble getting this bezel to line back up. Uh, but uh, this does pop out, no tools, just clips the same way. And here in the cabin, this is the final piece. Uh, access right here uh, by the emergency brake. If you just reach in the front and rock this up, just pull, just pull, pull. The whole panel lifts off and just work it around the emergency brake and you can get lifted up. All right, now uh, if you have a aftermarket radio, uh, in this case DVD player, this is where you would hook it up to the emergency brake uh, so that you can ensure there is no uh, operation uh, during driving. All right, there's just a few things here. Uh, this panel does pop straight out. Um, not gonna pop that one out either, but I think there are other videos that will show you the same. So just a little bit of a additional stuff on the wiring, some of the points that I accessed and doing some of the uh, aftermarket projects that I have, uh, putting the lights in the glove box, as well as uh, putting uh, lights underneath the car. 
or I say underneath the car, uh, underneath the uh, seats down at the bottom. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. I know it didn't cover anything specific uh, outside of just basically how to uh, access some basic points for wiring. Uh, again, from the uh, front to the back of the car, uh, the in dash and the easy access point to get wires to your glove box uh, down to the floor or what have you. Uh, as well as uh, how to access the wiring in the emergency brake console, uh, as well as if you needed to access the USB port. So uh, if you found the video helpful, like, share, subscribe. I uh, hope you enjoy it. See you next time.